All right, so this is the support build that I talked about a little bit in the last video. So I'm running the most two important pieces is the chest piece and the backpack. So the buffs that you want to have active is the skill haste and skill damage. You can get this by having two Hannah U pieces like I have or one Hannah U piece and one wire room piece. Same thing, just not the same brand sets. Backpack talent again. Tech support on this build is more of a must than combined arms because you don't want to be out of cover and shooting with this build because you've got other things to be doing this is a support build so you don't really want to be shooting with this build the chest piece, the chest piece talent is overwatch again you want to support your team this is a support build so you don't want to use glass cannon which is just for you you want to buff your teammates with this build this is a teammate buffing skill build now going into the future initiative pieces you can craft them it's not an issue you want it to be the mask gloves knee pads and holster because you need the chest piece talent and you want the backpack talent um so going into why this build works this way is going into future again you obviously want to run skill damage on all your pieces so the future pieces have all skill damage not skill repair this is not a heal build this is why you want separate pieces for your heal build and for your support skill damage build the four piece bonus talent increases your skill damage and weapon damage so this is why it's a buff for skill damage builds as well by 15 percent however you gotta be at full armor again it's the same difference which is why the region comes into play on the skill damage build if you're not at full health you're missing 15 percent skill damage regions a must again you can pop med kits but by the time that you go into a legendary and you'll be out of those four med kits that you get before like the third room so regen is essential to having the full amount of buff that you can get on this build i am going to use this just have an hour rate of what i get difference so my turret base without future. So this is no buff. Uh, no, that is a buff. Hold on. Yes, I forgot that I'm going to get my own hive. Uh, let me just put this on. No, let's not put that on. Let's put the shield on for now. Alright, so no buff. It's rephases. No buff damage. Now, my build's going to hit lower than obviously your build. My build's a support build, so I'm missing a lot of buffs. If you can remember from my last build, base torrent hit for 164 damage. So I'm hitting considerably less, but again, it's a buff build, not a damage build. So, one nine, you say 120 is my base torrent. Activating overwatch which is the 12 percent damage bonus that you get from the chest piece while being in cover for over 10 seconds your whole team gets this weapon damage and skill damage and it now jumps up to 133 base damage again the higher the damage the more the buff so my teammates will get more than i do but i'm only getting say a 14k increase from that then mix with the future because you'll be running the four piece future and it jumps up by an additional 11k i think i was hitting for 33 without the future let me, let me just double check I, 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 could, I could be mistaken no wrong piece it has to be the wyvern sorry yeah so 11k buff that i get for activating the future on top of that 
So that's already a build that's given me 25k base damage on my turn. It'll be like 30 to 35 on a DPS, maybe even 40k just from that. And then the final piece is the artificial hive. Now, what it does is it buffs the turret by 70%. That's everything. Damage, duration, everything. It's just a full buff and then also heals it by 98%. Basically, if it ain't dead, it's going to get a 100% zero to hero heal instantly. So, my turret now hits for 188. Going from 119 up into 188 that is a very big increase i can buff turrets that start from my other build if i get this buff it hits for 164 and it jumps to over 300k per bullet it is very devastating you can clear rooms with this formation by itself without even shooting a bullet it just clears rooms by itself. Your drone will go out and it will come back and it will get healed 100%, buffed 100%, go back out and just destroy everything. Most OP builds to put together on the game. 